Oxford Grammar for Schools Level 5 by Rachel Godfrey Published and copyright Oxford University Press 2014 CD2 Unit 13 13.1 I'm learning to juggle at the moment. I want to be able to juggle with four or five balls. At the moment, I can do three balls, but I think I'll be able to keep four balls up in the air soon. 1. Can you walk on your hands, Mandy? Walk on my hands? No, not at all. I can't even do a handstand. I don't know why. I've tried and tried, but I just can't do it. 2. Did you and Bill play tennis? Yes, we did. Can you play tennis? I didn't know that. Yes, I can. I play a lot. So, yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't leave work before six, but we met at the park and we were able to play quite a few games before it got dark. I hope we'll be able to play a bit longer tomorrow. Three. When I was a child, I could swim really well. I could swim underwater for ages and dive and do all sorts of things, like handstands under the water. Of course, you never forget how to swim, and I do go swimming from time to time, but I'm not so good at it now, and I certainly can't dive or do somersaults underwater anymore. 4. I'm really sorry, Dad, but I think I've broken the gate. Let me see. Oh, don't worry. I can easily fix that. Five. We left our front door keys in the house and shut the door behind us, so we were completely locked out. We thought we couldn't get back into the house at all. Then we saw the bathroom window. It was open a tiny bit. Heidi was able to climb up the side of the house and get into the house through the bathroom window. 13.2 We managed to open the box. 1. I'd like to be able to play golf. 2. He can't swim at all. 3. She used to be able to play quite well. 4. I've always been able to draw. 5. They couldn't do it very well. 6. Were you able to speak to Pete? 13.3 This morning, I took my little brother Charlie to the park and he got stuck up a tree. This surprised me because usually he can climb things easily. Today he climbed up very high, but then his shirt got caught on a branch and he couldn't move at all. Help! he shouted. I can't get down! He sounded really scared. I hate heights. I've never been able to go up tall buildings because I can't look down. It makes me feel sick. I can't even stand on a chair. But when I heard Charlie's frightened shouts, I felt different, and I was able to climb up to him. I managed to free his shirt, and we climbed down the tree together. I hope the experience has changed me forever. Will I be able to go up tall buildings now? I don't know, but I hope I can. I'd like to try rock climbing too. 13.4 Conversation 1 Could I have two of those notebooks, please? Yes, of course. And can I have a bag for them? OK. Conversation 2 Would you mind if I put my suitcase here? No, that's fine. I'm getting off at the next station. It's fine, really. Conversation 3 would you mind speaking a bit more quietly, please? Sorry. Oh, excuse me. Yes? 
May I use the computer, please? Yes, that's fine. Conversation four. Excuse me. Yes. Could you tell me the way to Greenford Bridge? Yes, of course. You go along here. And... Conversation five. Do you mind if I put the TV on? Can you wait until I've finished doing my homework, please? Oh, okay. Conversation six. Would you pass me the menu, please? Yes, sorry. Here you are. Are you ready to order yet? No, not quite. Could you come back in five minutes? Of course, madam. Unit fourteen, fourteen point one. Conversation one. You can have a short break now, but you must be back at your desks in five minutes. Can we go outside? No, you must stay inside the building. Conversation two. Hey, come back! You mustn't cross when the man is red. Sorry, I know there aren't many cars around today, but you must always wait for the light to change. Conversation three. Can I see your ticket, please? Yes, of course. Okay, you'll have to change at the next station. Right. Conversation four. May I watch a DVD? You need to tidy your room first. Okay. Conversation five. You need to fill this form in before you can use the equipment. Okay. But I haven't got a black pen. You don't have to use a black pen. Blue is fine. Do I have to sign here? Yes, please. Conversation six. That looks delicious. Would you like to try some? I'd love to, but I mustn't. I can't eat eggs. I'm allergic to them. They make me sick. Oh, that's a shame. It might change when I'm older. I've got to have some tests at the hospital soon. Fourteen point two. I can't eat eggs. One. You must stay inside the building. Two. You mustn't cross when the man is red. Three. May I watch a DVD? Four. You'll have to change at the next station. Five. Do I have to sign here? Six. You don't have to use a black pen. Seven. You need to tidy your room first. Eight. I've got to have some tests at the hospital soon. Nine. Can I see your ticket, please? Ten. You can have a short break now. Fourteen point three. I went to school every day, and I had a lot of friends, but I couldn't play with them after school because I had to help my dad on the farm. One. Here, Amy. I got these flowers for you. Thank you, Millie. That's very kind of you. You needn't have got me anything. I know that, but you've helped me a lot. It's my way of saying thank you. Two. How was your trip to the music studio, Carrie? It was brilliant. We could use the recording equipment, and we could try all the musical instruments. So you played some musical instruments? No, I didn't actually. You could, but I didn't want to. I was only really interested in the recording stuff. Three. 
Was the library open this afternoon, Ted? Oh, I didn't need to go to the library, in fact, because I got the book from school. Four. How much did you have to pay, Alice? I didn't. It was completely free. Five. What did you think of the film, Anne? I didn't see it, because you had to be 16 or over, and I'm not 16 yet. Six. We needn't have run to the station because the train was 20 minutes late, so we caught it, no problem. Unit 15. 15.1. Conversation 1. Shall we go to our favourite beach again this year? I don't know. I'd like to do something different. What do you mean? We could go to the mountains. Or we could go to a big city, go sightseeing, things like that. But we live in a big city. It wouldn't be very relaxing. Why don't I go into the travel agents this afternoon? I could get some brochures and we could all look at them this evening. Sounds like a good idea. Conversation 2 Shall we start work on it tomorrow? Yes, let's. OK. Where shall we meet? Shall we go to the library? I don't know. We need to talk, really. It would be better to meet at someone's house. You could come to my house. Oh, that would be good, Karen. Shall I bring some things for lunch? Oh, thanks. That would be great. Conversation 3 What shall we do? We could try to mend it. I don't know. I think that would be too difficult. Shall we just buy a new one? Yes, let's. I think that would be the best thing to do. We could put some flowers in it as a way of saying sorry. That's a great idea. Let's do it. Conversation 4 So, where shall we go? We could go to that go-karting place. It's really good. Hmm, I'd like to go there, but I think it would take us too long to get there. It's right on the other side of town. Why don't we go there next weekend? We could leave really early on Saturday morning and have a whole day there. OK. Shall we just go to the park for a bit? That would be better, I think. Conversation 5 Shall we move the sofa over here by the window? I think it would make the room very dark and we wouldn't be able to see the TV very well. Hmm, that's true. How about over there? Yes, that would be better. Shall we move it now? No, let's move the chairs first. Conversation 6 Shall we go and see James this morning? Yes, he'd like that. We could take him some books and magazines. That's a good idea. Shall we walk to the hospital? No. Let's take the bus. 15.2 1. Shall I bring some food this evening? What shall we do? 2. I could make some sandwiches. We could ask for help. 3. That would be fantastic. That would be difficult. 15.3 Shall we go for a walk tomorrow? That would be nice. Where shall we go? We could walk to the lake. Yes, and we could go swimming. Oh, I don't know. I think the water would be very cold. Shall I bring a picnic? That would be lovely. I'd like to invite Julia to come with us. Shall I ask her? Yes, of course. Why don't we ask Katie, too? 15.4 We'll take a taxi. It'll be expensive. It'll be quick. 1. I'm going to give this book to Toby. He won't like it. He'll love it. 2. 
I've lost my necklace. You won't find that again. You'll definitely get it back. Three. I'm going to take some of this medicine. It'll taste horrible. It'll help you feel better. Four. She really wants to go to that university. She may not pass all her exams. I expect they'll offer her a place. Five. I'm going to climb that tree. I think you might fall. You'll get a wonderful view. Fifteen point five. One. It might be a hat. It could be a jumper. Two. It could be a cup. It might be a plate. Three. It might be a jacket. It could be a bag. Fifteen point six. He can't have been at the lesson. One. You must have left it on the bus. Two. She must have been dreaming. Three. They might have changed their minds. Four. He can't have forgotten. Five. It must have been raining. Six. Oh dear, we might have broken it. Fifteen point seven. He might have done it. She must have been crying. It can't have been easy. Revision four, R four point one. Listen and choose the correct answer A, B, or C. What does the girl want? We must be nearly there now. I hope so. Would you like an apple? No, thanks. May I have a look at your newspaper? Yes, of course. You can do the number puzzle if you like. No, I've never been able to do those. One. What did the boy buy? I posted that letter. Oh, good. How much were the stamps? I didn't need to buy any stamps. It was free post. Oh, that's good. Yes, but I had to buy a pen to write on the envelope. Two. What is the weather forecast for today? It'll be sunny this morning. But make the most of the morning sunshine because everyone will probably see some rain this afternoon. For some of you, there may be some late evening sunshine, but it will feel cold and. Three. What does the girl think happened? I reckon someone drove their car into that tree. No, it can't have been a car. There are no marks on the grass. It must have blown down in the storm last night. What storm? Didn't you hear it? I couldn't sleep last night. The weather was so bad.、Oh, I must have slept through it. Four. What is the girl going to take with her? Is that the time? I've got to go. Really? Can't you stay a bit longer? No, I'm really sorry, but I have to get to the opticians before five. Would you mind taking these books to the library on your way? I can't, I'm afraid. I've got to take these glasses to the opticians today, and they close at five. I won't have time to go to the library as well. Five. What time will Jamie's train probably leave? Hi, Vicky. It's me, Jamie. I might be a bit late this evening, I'm afraid. I'll probably leave here at about half past five. I think there's a train at quarter to six, but I probably won't be able to get that one. So I'll have to get the six o'clock train, which means I guess I'll be with you at about quarter to seven. I'll call from the train. Okay. Bye for now. 
Six. Which is the woman's list? How did you get on? Well, I managed to paint all the walls, but I couldn't do the door because there wasn't enough paint. I could go and get some more paint this evening if you like. That would be really helpful. Yes, please. Also, I've got to clean the carpet, but I didn't have the right kind of cleaner. I need to use a special kind of carpet shampoo. Shall I get some of that too? Okay, then I'll be able to start straight away in the morning. R four point two. You will hear a conversation between Millie and Ben about a camping trip. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. Choose yes if it is correct, or no if it is incorrect. There was a message on the answer phone, Ben. I didn't hear the phone ring. Did you? No. It must have been when we were in the garden. Who phoned anyway? Richard. He wants to talk about the camping trip next week. Shall we phone him back now? Oh, I've got to have some lunch first. I'm really hungry. We can phone him later, can't we? But he might not be at home later. He might be going out, and we really need to finish planning things today. Ah,、uh, okay. But first, let's make a list of what we think we'll need. That's a good idea. Well, we don't need to take tents because there'll definitely be some at the campsite that we can hire. That's good. Can we book them in advance? Hmm. I don't know. But it must be possible, surely, because people need to know in advance, don't they?、Hmm. I'll phone the campsite later to check. Right. What else?、Uh, we need to take our own sleeping bags. Ah, yes. I'll have to buy one then. I've got a spare one. You can borrow it if you like. Thanks. That would be great. Did you get a map? No, I couldn't get one. I looked everywhere. That's a shame. Perhaps we can find one online. Yeah, that's true. I've bought some plastic cups, bowls, and plates for the trip. Oh, my mum and dad have got lots that we can take. Oh, never mind. They weren't very expensive. Brilliant. Oh, I've just thought of something else. We must remember to take torches. It'll be really dark at night. Oh, come on. Let's phone Richard now. There can't be much else that we need to take, and I'm so hungry. Unit sixteen, sixteen point one. One. What's her name? Where does she live? How old is she? Two. Who does it belong to? How old is it? How fast can it go? Three. Whose is it? What's inside it? Where did you find it? Four. How did that happen? Who did that? How are we going to fix it? Five. Where did they play? Who won? Who scored the first goal? Six. Which ocean is it in? Where's the airport? What's the climate like? Sixteen point two. Where does she live? Who does it belong to? How old is it? Whose is it? How did that happen? What's the climate like? Sixteen point three. How often do you phone your friend? One. Where are you going? Two. What are you wearing that hat for? Three. Whose bag is that? Four. What was the film like? 
Five. What's your bed made of? Six. How far is it to the farm from here? Sixteen point four. So this is the quiz where you write the questions. Here's an example. Look at the seas and oceans part of the quiz. The first answer is fifty-five meters. Now, which sea is fifty-five meters deep or wide? Think about it. Fifty-five meters isn't very much. Well, the correct question is, how deep is the Baltic Sea? Now, look at the rest of the quiz and try to make the correct questions. Don't worry if you don't know. You'll win points for lucky guesses. Sixteen point five. Okay, everyone. Here are the correct questions, or do I mean the answers? Number one, a hundred and sixty-five point two million square kilometers. That's very big. The correct question is. How big is the Pacific Ocean? Did you get that right? Number two, this is a question about the Nile. It's where does the Nile begin? Number three, about six thousand four hundred ninety-eight kilometers. The question for that is, how long is the Yangtze? Number four. We're on to mountains and lakes now, and we're thinking about Ecuador in South America. The correct question is, where is Cotopaxi? Cotopaxi is a mountain, and it's also a volcano. Did you know that? Number five, I'm sure you got this one correct. It's how high is Mount Everest? Mount Everest, the highest mountain in the world. Number six, the first of three questions about planets, the red planet. Have you heard of that? Yes, it's Mars, of course. And the question is, what do people or some people call Mars? Number seven, four hundred and sixty degrees centigrade. Wow, that's hot. The correct question is. How hot is it on Venus? Number eight. Not so many planets to choose from now. This is a question about distance, and the question is, how far is Neptune from Earth? On to cities now, and question number nine. This question is, where is Caracas? The last question, number ten. Three thousand six hundred and forty meters above sea level. That is information about La Paz in Bolivia. The question is, how high is La Paz? And at three thousand six hundred and forty meters above sea level, La Paz is the highest capital city in the world. Sixteen point six. Has it got six legs? Can you and your sister swim? Does Carla know Alex? Am I right? Will it be okay? Is Leo coming? Sixteen point seven. The tickets are expensive, aren't they? One. Polar bears live at the North Pole, don't they? Two. That isn't a real diamond, is it? Three. Libby's from Australia, isn't she? Four. Lake Geneva's in Switzerland, isn't it? Five. He has told you, hasn't he? 
Six. You're Brian's daughter, aren't you? Seven. They aren't going to win, are they? Eight. That wasn't very good, was it? Sixteen point eight. The tickets are expensive, aren't they? Yes, they are. One. Polar bears live at the North Pole, don't they? Yes, they do. Two. That isn't a real diamond, is it? Yes, it is. Three. Libby's from Australia, isn't she? No, she isn't. Four. Lake Geneva's in Switzerland, isn't it? Yes, it is. Five. He has told you, hasn't he? No, he hasn't actually. Six. You're Brian's daughter, aren't you? Yes. Seven. They aren't going to win, are they? No. Eight. That wasn't very good, was it? No. Unit seventeen, seventeen point one. Conversation one. How many birthday cards have you got? Only two at the moment. Look at the card my little brother made for me. <laughs> I love it. Conversation two. That's the house where my grandfather was born. Which one? The one that's got smoke coming out of the chimney. Conversation three. I know that girl. Which girl? The girl whose father is talking on the phone. Seventeen point two. What a delicious meal! One. What a great film! Two. What strange clothes he wears! Three. What fun! Four. What an idea! Five. How funny! Six. What beautiful eyes she has! Seventeen point three. I bought this shirt for two pounds. What a bargain! That's really cheap. Conversation one. Guess what? We're going to perform the play at the city theatre next year. How exciting! Conversation two. Tanya's family are going to travel round Australia in a camper van. I know. What an adventure that will be! Conversation three. I want to get ill. Then I can stay in bed all day. What nonsense! Don't say that. Conversation four. Five nil, five nil. What an excellent result! Conversation five. This time last year, we were stuck in the car in the snow. Do you remember? Yes. What a long night that was. Conversation six. There's a new girl at school. She's called Apple Dora. What an unusual name! Seventeen point four. The sun's shining. It's not too hot and not too cold. What a beautiful day! One. It was only three pounds. Two. 
Here's a photo of my baby sister. 3. He's called Frederick Frank McFish. 4. I got 99% in my exam. 5. He says the moon is made of cheese. 6. She helped me with my homework and she gave me a snack. 5. R5.1 For each question, listen and choose the correct answer A, B or C. What's the woman asking about? How big is it? Can you see it in the daytime? How far from Earth is it? 1. Who did the boy speak to? Who did you speak to? It was the older lady who was selling tickets. Was she wearing a blue T-shirt? No, she wasn't. She had a pink dress. Oh, yes. I know who you mean. She's a very tall lady, isn't she? No, she wasn't especially tall. Oh, I don't know then. 2. What's the man asking about? What colour is it? What does it eat? How long does it live? How many legs has it got? 3. What time does the train leave? The train leaves at five past eight, doesn't it? So we've got 15 minutes. No, the man said five to eight, didn't he? So we've only got five minutes. Oh, right. We'd better go and find the platform then. He said Platform 5, didn't he? Yes, that's right. Now, where is Platform 5? 4. How are the two people feeling? What terrible weather. I know. It's the kind of weather you normally get in the autumn, isn't it? 5. What's the woman asking about? How old is it? How high is it? How long did it take to build? How many windows has it got? 6. Which woman are they talking about? What an unusual hat! Where? Over there. There's a woman whose baby is crying and she's got a really strange hat. Can you see her? Oh, yes. R5.2 You will hear a conversation between Ryan and his mum, Anne, who are at a restaurant. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. Choose yes if it is correct or no if it is incorrect. Would you like anything else? No, that's all, thanks. We can order a dessert later, can't we? Yes, that's right. That's all for now, thanks. OK. That woman's fruit salad looks good, doesn't it? Mmm, yes. What lovely music. And what a shame that nobody's really listening to it. He's very good, isn't he? What's that man eating? It's feijoada, I think. What's that? It's a dish I used to eat a lot when I lived in Brazil. It comes from Portugal originally. It's made of meat and beans. It's very nice. Why didn't you order it today? Because I don't eat meat now, do I? Oh, yes, of course. What song's the pianist playing now? It's famous, isn't it? Yes, it's a song your grandfather plays, but I can't think of the name. OK, here are your meals. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow, what a big pizza. You won't be able to eat any dessert after that, will you? I'm sure I will. Unit 18, 18.1 If you put an apple in a bowl of water, it floats. 1. 
If you don't keep ice cream in the freezer, it melts. Two. I feel sleepy if I eat a big lunch. Three. If you add twelve and twelve, you get twenty-four. Four. You get purple if you mix red and blue. Five. A ball doesn't break if you drop it. Eighteen point two. What do you get if you subtract five from seventy? Sixty-five. What do you get if you divide twenty by two? Ten. What do you get if you multiply ten by ten? One hundred. What do you get if you add sixteen and sixteen? Thirty-two. One. What do you get if you add thirty-three and thirty-three? Two. What do you get if you subtract five from seventy? Three. What do you get if you multiply twenty-two by four? Four. What do you get if you divide one hundred by five? Five. What do you get if you add one hundred and twenty and three hundred and eighty? Six. What do you get if you multiply fifty by three? Seven. What do you get if you divide ninety by three? Eight. What do you get if you subtract one hundred and nineteen from four hundred? Eighteen point three. What do you think? If a friend is sad, there isn't anything you can do to help. Do you agree? No, I think there's always something you can do to help if a friend is sad, even if it's just a little thing. I agree. I know that if I'm sad, I like my friends to call me and ask me how I am. It makes a difference, definitely. Yeah, that's right. I don't like it if it rains every day. No, I don't really notice the weather, so I don't mind if it rains every day. Really, I get really down and fed up if it rains every day. I'm always much happier if the weather's warm and sunny. Everyone feels better if they take regular exercise. I definitely agree with that. Yeah, it's definitely true for me. If I don't get enough exercise, then I don't have so much energy, and I don't feel so positive or good about things. Food tastes better if you're really hungry. Hmm. If I'm really hungry, I eat without noticing the taste, so I can't say that it tastes better in that situation. Whereas I'm not that interested in food, so I think that yes, it does taste better if I'm really hungry because I appreciate it more. Eighteen point four. One. We can go and get a drink at the next station if you like. I don't know. There isn't much time, and if we miss the next train, we'll have to wait for an hour and get the four o seven. And then we'll be late.、Mm, I suppose so. But if you're very thirsty, you should have something to drink. Two. If you pay a bit extra, you can have it gift wrapped. No thanks. It's fine as it is. Three. Come and get some more sun cream if you go into the sea again, okay? Why? Because if it washes off in the water, you might get burnt. And if you get burnt, you'll feel really horrible later. Four. If you tidy your bedroom now, we can all watch a film together later. Five. Ugh, this rice tastes funny, and it's a bit cold.
Well, if you're not happy with it, I'll ask the waiter to take it back. But will I get another one? Of course, unless you want to order something different. Six. If you bring them back late, you'll have to pay a fine. OK. Take this leaflet if you want. It's got all the details. 18.5 If you don't take an umbrella, you might get wet. 1. If you don't close your backpack, all your things are going to fall out. 2. If you don't eat your meal, you'll be hungry later. 3. If you don't come out of the sea, that jellyfish might sting you. 4. If you eat all those sweets, you're going to feel horrible. 5. If you touch that frying pan, you'll get burnt. Unit 19. 19.1 How would you feel if you were in the sea and you suddenly realised there was a shark in the water? I'd be really, really scared. I like the jacket best, but the T-shirt would probably be more useful. Mm, if I were you, I'd get the jacket. How would life be different if it was daylight 24 hours a day? If it never got dark, we'd never see the stars. If you could eat something from there, what would it be? I'd probably choose the prawns. How would you feel if a stranger took your photo in the street? I think I'd be really angry. If you found a lot of money in a shop, would you keep it? No, I'd never do that. 19.2 If you'd followed the instructions, it wouldn't have broken. 1. We would have helped him if he'd asked for help. 2. I wouldn't have woken up early if you hadn't phoned me. 3. If I'd been hungry, I would have eaten it. 4. If I hadn't missed the bus, I wouldn't have been late. 5. Jack wouldn't have come in if the door hadn't been open. 6. If Vicky had asked the teacher for help, the teacher would have said yes. 19.3 1. Linda decided to jump into the river and try to save the child. Just as she was taking off her shoes, she heard a noise. A man had run up behind her and jumped into the river. He quickly reached the child and pulled him to safety. 2. Max took the money straight into the bank. The bank clerks thanked him and told him he had done the right thing. 3. Iris realised that Amy was walking towards her and that she might hear something too. She really didn't want this to happen, so she walked towards Amy and started a conversation with her. She managed to stop Amy from hearing anything bad, and Linda never told Amy what she'd heard. Iris remained good friends with Amy. Unit 20 20.1 1 I wish I wasn't so hungry. 2. If only I had my phone. 3. I'm glad you don't remember. 4. I wish I was rich. 
five. I'm glad I'll see you later. Twenty point two. I'm glad I'm tall. If only I wasn't so tall. One. I'm glad you like football. I wish you liked football too. Two. I wish it was Friday. I'm just glad it isn't Thursday. Three. If only I knew all the answers. I'm glad I know all the answers. Four. If only I had short hair like yours. I'm glad I haven't got long hair. Five. I'm glad I can ski. I wish I could ski. Twenty point three. Billy. It was really silly. I washed my hands and I picked up the dish. And it just slipped out of my hands and smashed on the floor. I don't know why I didn't just dry my hands before I picked the plate up. I feel terrible. Such a silly accident. Such a waste of money. Fortunately, Susie told me where she bought it, so at least I can buy another one to replace it. Louise, I thought I was ready for the exam. But then, when I turned over the paper and looked at the questions, my heart sank. There were questions on topics that I hadn't revised at all, and I knew I wasn't properly prepared. On top of that, I'd stayed up late the night before because I was worried about the exam. So I felt really tired because I hadn't had a good night's sleep. Iris. Everyone says the wedding was absolutely amazing, but I couldn't be there because I was stuck in my hospital bed. Would you believe it? Of all the days to be in hospital, it was just my luck to fall and break my arm on that very morning. I've seen lots of photos, and someone took a video of it too, which I'm really pleased about. But it's not the same as actually being there, is it? Revision six, R six point one. For each question, listen and choose the correct answer: A, B, or C. Which fence is the man talking about? Be careful. What do you mean? If you touch that fence, you'll get an electric shock. Look. Oh yes, I didn't see the sign. One. What is the woman advising the girl to do? How's your head? It's still hurting. You'll feel better if you lie down for a bit. Perhaps I'll lie on the sofa with the television on. If you watch TV, your headache will get worse. Go and lie down upstairs, and if you don't feel better by tea time, I'll bring you some painkillers. Okay. Two. Which problem does Ed need to sort out? Yeah, I'm going to have to pay quite a lot of money to get it sorted out. Everything would have been all right if there hadn't been all this broken glass on the road. Looking back, it probably would have been better if I'd just ridden over it and got a puncture. But I was trying to avoid that. And I was going quite fast, so I swerved and lost control. I'll go and buy the woman a new pot and some new plants, unless she'd rather I just gave her the money to replace them. Three. Which rule is the woman talking about? They won't let you in unless you take off your helmet. I'm sure they'll let me in if my helmet's open, like this. No, they won't. Four. Which is Anna? If only I had my camera with me.
You can take some pictures on my camera, Anna, if you want. Really? That's very kind of you. Thank you. Oh, I wish I'd brought my sunglasses too. Oh, Anna, I need mine. I'm afraid. Five. What would the boy do? What would you do if you wanted to lose weight? I don't know. I can't imagine wanting to lose weight. I wish I was heavier. That's why I eat so much bread and pasta. Oh, right. But if you did want to lose weight, what would you do? Would you talk to a doctor about it? No, I'd go running every day, something like that. Right. Six. What's the weather like today? I'm glad there's a breeze and a bit more fresh air today. I know, but still, I wish it wasn't so hot. Me too. R six point two. You will hear a conversation between Dave and Catherine about advertising. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. Choose yes if it is correct, or no if it is incorrect. More advertisements on TV? I don't believe it. There are too many, and they interrupt the programs all the time. Oh, they're not so bad, are they? I sometimes get a drink or make a quick phone call when the advertisements come on. They don't really bother me. But they're so loud. Perhaps if they were quieter, they wouldn't be so annoying. If the advertisements really annoy you so much, you could switch the TV off or turn the sound down. I don't know. If I switch the TV off for the advertisements, I'd probably forget to switch it back on again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't think advertising is such a bad thing. I wouldn't have bought these trainers if I hadn't seen them advertised in a magazine. I'm glad I got them. They've been really good. Yes, but that's different. If I don't want to look at an advertisement in a newspaper or magazine, I can just turn the page. It's much harder to ignore advertisements on TV or on the radio. I suppose so. Oh, look! The film's starting again. Good.